Valley Duncan with Plasters of Italy, specializing in all phases of interior decorative finishes. This is Valley Duncan on location in Princeton, Texas. I'm going to be doing 750 square feet of a smooth drywall. Here again, we're going to take this inconsistent texture that is on the ceiling and walls. We're going to provide three coats of drywall compound to make these walls perfectly smooth. The first coat of drywall compound is applied with even pressure uh, across the surface. Uh, we're actually spreading the uh, compound out in, uh, with the same amount of millage. Uh, to do this, uh, experience is required in handling the trial, uh, distributing the uh, product across the surface. We uh, see a protrusion there in the uh, top of the drywall. Actually, I can square this up and uh, uh, float around this particular area. Uh, the second and third coat will actually uh, achieve even a smoother wall surface. This takes care of any of those imperfections on the first coat. Prior to this first skim coat, I did scrape the walls slightly to um, knock off some of the high points, eliminating any of the uh, chatter marks you're going to get from this first coat. We're going around the windows here, uh, building up the surfaces to a smooth uh, finish. Uh, by pulling in different directions, I can also eliminate these chatter marks. The main goal here in this first coat is to achieve a smooth surface and also build up the surfaces where any low pockets are at, and uh, this will give us a good first coat. And one of the important things to know about skimming uh, over uh, a drywall surface here that's textured is to put on the correct millage of uh, product. You do not want to put on too much or too little. Putting on too little will obviously give you uh, a lot more work and you're going to be getting a lot of chatter marks. Here we're putting on the correct millage to uh, fill these lower areas. Remember that this will get three coats, so we're slowly building up to that third finished coat level. And before we started skimming the ceiling, we had some loose drywall tape that we had to rip out and repair. Here we had a nail pop that actually went through the ceiling and did a patch there. So we'll be skimming that. Going around smaller areas, sometimes I use my uh, Italian spatula blades here. This is a stainless steel blade. They come in various sizes. Uh, and at times I can utilize Bondo scrapers and uh, cut down to size uh, the styrene blades. This uh, makes the project very effective and uh, can eliminate a lot of uh, uh, sanding and trial marks and just, just makes it a very nice application uh, to use the correct tools, expediting the, uh, the uh, efficiency and effectiveness of the uh, project. Uh, Applying this uh, on the tip of my blade uh, from the top to the bottom and doing an even spread coat. This is the second coat on this particular wall. Uh, obviously we'll get one more coat. Okay, on the ceiling uh, first coat here, uh, I'm using a roll skim method and applying this compound this way allows me to actually push the mud into these lower pockets, getting an even uh, distribution of uh, compound. Then I'm going back here and smoothing it out with my blade. This requires the uh, right amount of pressure, angles, and uh, blending here to uh, continue the surface uh, uh, skim coat. This is going to allow us for a great first coat and uh, we'll proceed with the second. Okay, this is the final coat of a level 5 finish. Three coats of joint compound. Uh, this final coat uh, going around the electrical outlets we're spreading the uh, joint compound evenly across the surface. Here we're trying to eliminate any uh, trial marks and uh, utilizing the technical skills uh, needed to uh, have a level 5 finish with minimal sanding. I'm going to be going to the corner here, uh, pulling up and blending uh, my edges as I go, uh, keeping my knife clean as well as uh, smoothing the surface and keeping an eye on uh, detail here and uh, finishing out this process with minimal uh, sanding and uh, we'll be able to uh, prime these surfaces and uh, have a look at it with the light here. I'm going to be uh, projecting a 500 watt light across the surface at an angle so we can view this, uh, the, any imperfections that could uh, show up in the surface. Okay, taking into account here uh, all the criticals involved in uh, 
doing a quality project and uh, focusing on what you're doing, knowing and having the experience. Here again, I'm shooting a 500 watt uh, halogen across the surface here to evaluate my work. This shows up any imperfections in the surface. Well, that's one of the many uh, projects we do. This is an example here of a texture color wash. Uh, we do quite a lot of uh, Venetian plaster as well and uh, do all of the preparation for that. Also, we're involved in a lot of faux finishing, uh, mantles and cabinets and crown molding. Here is an example of a kitchen that was done in a texture color wash as well. Thank you very much.